In the middleweight division, how you see the strong movement that is going on right now? Are you interested to see Triple G and Canelo, or you probably says it's already done? We don't need to see any more of that. I think in his, you know, I actually thought the first fight thought GGG won, in my opinion. Uh, the second fight, Canelo won. You know, no questions asked, no doubts. But um, you know, the fans. It seems like the fans want to see the third fight. So you know, why not? You know, that's what the fans want to see. So I think I think it's gonna happen. I think it's going to happen. I, I had the privilege to speak to Abel Sanchez, I mean, which is now right now part of, you know, GGG's camp. But I spoke with Tom Lovler and Oscar Dalloway, and I asked him, and I asked both of them if it, that fight will happen, and they said they're working on it. So yeah. probably we will see it, and we just got to stay tuned because middleweight division is stronger right now. Yeah. And Canelo is a name that all fighters wants to fight him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody wants Canelo. Speaking of Canelo, what, what skills did you see that he changed from his his from his first loss against Mayweather? It's a big change. Defensively, you know, just you just see, you know, you don't even got to speak on it. The way he the way he moves in his last fight, that head movement he was making. Uh, I was Daniel Jacobs missed a lot. Uh, fight for that with GGG, his defense was incredible. I think that's what. That's what put him at the at the highest level, you know. That's all. I think that's the only thing that was missing from Canelo. Now that he mastered that, he's like on a way different level. People can't really mess with him anymore. I don't. I don't see anybody beating him right now, to be honest. That's that's amazing that you mentioned it because I feel like Canelo not right now is is a fighter that he's in a different level. Yes. And don't get me wrong, I give it credit also to Triple G and also Danny Jacobs, and then the yeah, rest yeah, yeah. comes, you know, like Dimitri Andrade and other, you know, middleweight divisions. It's, it's I, like, I really like Callum Smith. He's fighting in this car too, but he's a super middleweight, huh? Super, super middleweight. Really super. And um, it, will, it will be interesting to see Canelo against Callum Smith. Callum Smith yeah. If the fight is gonna happen, I think we gotta ask Eddie Hearn and yeah, yeah, Oscar yeah. De La Hoya if it happens, but a lot of fight fans that will be happy to see, you know, these great matches. Yeah. Any message that you would like to add it, or, you know, and send to the fight fans and everyone, and also remind them your account so in order that they could follow you? Yeah, um, you know, I just want to tell everyone to tune in this Saturday. Um, I'm fighting, a lot of amazing champions are fighting on this card. Uh, Anthony Joshua, Andy Reeves, you know, don't miss it live on the zone this Saturday. Um, yeah, and just want to shout out everyone who supports me, all my followers. Everyone who's gonna tune in, man, I appreciate you guys, man. Couldn't do it without you guys. And then my Instagram, you guys can follow me, Real Diego Pacheco. On Twitter is Real D Pacheco, and Facebook Diego Pacheco. Diego Pacheco, wishing you the best in every aspect of your life, and of course, you know the main important thing from my behalf is that you come out safety from from the ring. Appreciate Thank it, you. Man. I Thank really you. appreciate it for everything, guys. Stay tuned. The zone. Diego Pacheco, Anthony Joshua, and the rest of the fighters. Thank you again.